This video is going to show you how to enter a contact into Top Producer 8i. First, what you're going to do is you're going to log into your Top Producer account. Once you're in, you're going to see your home screen. To enter a new contact, you're going to go up here and click on the Contacts tab. Go down to Add Contact and click on that. This is going to open the new contact page. So what you're going to do is you're going to you can choose the long-term opportunity. This is something new that Top Producer has put into their program. If it's a new contact, you may click New. If it's somebody you're engaged with, you may click Engaged. If this is somebody you plan to do future business with, maybe it's a client who's not ready to sell yet, or a buyer who's not just ready to buy yet, you may put them in the future category. If they're active, this may be an active client that you have a listing for or an active buyer that you're currently working with. And then closed if you've closed a transaction with them. Um, for this purpose, we're going to click on New. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to add this contact to a client um, contact type. So here, anything at the top, what you're going to see here is a little star next to it. Anytime you add a new contact type into Top Producer, you want to put a little star in front of that contact type so that it auto populates to the top of the list. The ones at the top of the list are going to be the ones you work with most often. Now, Top Producer already comes with some preloaded ones. They've got several different options to choose from, and you can assign a contact to several different contact types. So, for this purpose, what we're going to do is we're going to add this contact to contacts and click done. So in this section obviously you're going to want to enter their name. If they have a spouse um, you can enter their spouse's name here. If they work for a company you can add it here. Right here you're going to have the option to enter their primary contact method. So if it's mobile phone, um, their business line, email, however this client or contact prefers to be contacted that's where you're going to enter it here. So for this purpose, we're going to enter business. Change this to the business phone. Now you can't have two of the same contact type, so I'm going to go in here and change that to mobile. In here, you enter their email address. You can have more than one email address for each contact. Okay. In here you can put any notes you have on that client. Here you have the option to put in where you got this lead from. So it could be an ad, it could be a lawn sign, a referral, um, different information like that. And you're able to add your own categories by clicking add. And again on this you want to put a star in front of it and then enter your new contact source type and then click save and it will save that to your list so you can choose it from for another contact for future use. Um, right here you're going to see apply action plan so when you click on this you're going to see all the action plans that Top Producer has loaded for you and this one at the top is one that we created for this client um, so we're going to add this contact to this uh, action plan and you can Choose what start date you want for this. You can change it if you like. But for this purpose, whenever you're entering a contact, you most likely want them to start with the date that you're entering. And this stuff you can enter. You don't have to enter all this information, but it helps if you're working with buyers or potential buyers, potential sellers, things like that. This gives you an idea of when they're ready to transact. If you have that information, you don't always have this information available. If you don't have it, just leave it blank their interest level, if they're approved for financing or not. This is their address. And then if they're a buyer, you can put their price range in here, the home style they're looking for, the area of interest, and you can modify this list um, by adding different areas that you serve. Now if they're a seller, you can put their home information here, so if they have 2,800 square feet, put it here, four bedrooms, three baths, whatever it is. If they're a buyer, go ahead and put in what square footage they're looking for, how many bedrooms, and how many baths. 
click Save and add more details. So once you do that, this is going to save this contact information. takes a little bit with Talk Producer. It's a little bit slow. Okay, so basically all the information you had for that contact is going to be here. You can add future notes here by clicking New Note and then click Save. Um, you can check here for activities that may be coming up. So this is going to be all the activities that are going to be associated with this contact because we applied that action plan to, the, um, to this contact. You can put family and friends in here if you have more information for this contact. Maybe they have a spouse or children that you want to put in here. You do this by clicking on family and friends and then you fill in this information and click add family or friend. Maybe this listing um, this contact has several different properties. Maybe it's an investor with several properties. You can go in and add multiple properties for one contact. You just click type of property. It's either going to be investment, primary, or other. Whatever you have as primary is going to show up for their mailing address here. So if they have several properties, you just fill in that property information there. Contact details, this is where it gives you the breakdown of their phone numbers. You can change these by just clicking on them. That will take you to the screen to change it. And then just make sure you hit save contact details. If they have a website, you can put it here. If you click on lead info, this will give you all the information on the lead, where it came from, their qualification. This is more for buyers down here buyer preferences for what they're looking for. If you go back to summary, what you're going to see over here to the right is you're going to see next call or appointment. So this is going to tell you when the next call is scheduled for this contact. Um, and this is set up because of our action plan that we have set up for this customer. The next call for this contact is going to be on March 11th, 2013. And this is a quick overview of anything that's incomplete. So these are all future emails that are going to go out to this contact. And this is all emails that are complete. So this email automatically went out as soon as I assigned this action plan to this contact. If I click on here, I can see what action plans this contact is assigned to. Also, face um, we have the option of adding Facebook and Twitter. So if you know that this contact has a Facebook profile or a Twitter account, you can add their Facebook profile to their contact type or their contact information. And a lot of agents, what they're using this for is to stay in contact with with these contacts. So let's say you have a phone call scheduled but you don't really have anything to talk about. Um, if you have the Facebook connected to this contact type, you're able to see all of their updates. So, so you kind of have an idea what's going on in their life. Maybe they're having a baby. Um, you know, when you give them a call, you can say, hey, how's the pregnancy going? Or, you know, how's the new baby? You know, things like that. You already know what's already going on with them. So it gives you a little bit more information on what's currently going on with their lives, how you can contact them, how you can communicate with them or help them in their selling process or their purchase process. So that's a new tool that um, Top Producer has. But you're able to connect each contact with their Facebook and Twitter account. So I hope this information has given you more insight on how to add a new contact into Top Producer 8i. Um, Check out our other videos for other tips and tricks on how to use Top Producer, and we'll talk to you soon.